Hey everybody, this is Nolan here to talk to you today about RFID protection. There's a lot of information out there. Um, we've had a lot of questions on our blog post as well, and I'm here to answer some of those questions. RFID is a technology that was invented to make your cards more secure. And what it is, it is an antenna that's embedded in a credit card um, that allows it to communicate to the point of sale device to create a secure transaction. It has been added to payment cards as a means of an extra layer of security, but it's also used in company access cards, transit cards, and anything else where scanning from a distance makes the process much more efficient. There's a few different technologies out there and we're gonna show you a way so you can see which types are used in your cards. The main types are chip and pin, uh, RFID, and NFC. So these cards here have a chip on them and that's often confused for being an RFID chip. But these are actually chip and pin cards and do not have an antenna in them. So the easiest way to tell if a card is RFID or NFC compatible is if it has this little radio wave symbol on it. You can see if there's an antenna in your card simply by going in a dark space and using a bright flashlight to shine through the back of the card and you'll be able to see the antenna that surrounds the edge of the card. RFID uses a scanner to remotely power an antenna in the card which then triggers it to send a signal back to the scanner. The way that RFID protection works in our Trayvax wallets is simply by putting the antenna that's in your card next to a metal plate that keeps it from being powered up enough to send a signal. So there's no 100% effective way of eliminating this. But what our products do is greatly reduces the distance of which the signal can be read. So with Trayvax wallets, the amount of protection that they provide is based around how much metal eventually ends up covering the card. So for products like our original 2.0, and our Armored Summit. These both have really high levels of protection due to the full metal front and back plates. Because the RFID antenna is around the perimeter of the card, covering that area with the metal plate is what effectively disturbs the signal. So as you can see with this Summit wallet, um, this interior area is open, but because it has the pretty thick metal rim, it effectively can block that signal. RFID is not a big threat to payment cards because the information that they transmit is encrypted. But there may be other cards in your wallet that are using non-encrypted information, and those are the ones that this will help out with. So even though some technologies are more secure than others, it's always good to take precaution and reduce any risk there might be. So besides RFID, there are many other easier ways that your information can be compromised. That could be like giving your information over the phone, making a purchase online, or also having someone take a picture of your card. The most common method of having this information stolen is actually with the magnetic stripe on the back of your card. So this magnetic stripe holds all the information that is on the card that could be used to make a purchase. This process is called card skimming. And this can be done simply at any time where you give your card to another person and lose sight of it. So you wanna be careful about any time that you give your information away over the phone, plug it into a website, or lose sight of your card. 